everyone and welcome to another video. In this one, we are going to be checking out the newly buffed Rampart 17 Assault Rifle here in Black Ops 4. So if you guys actually did not know, yesterday at the time me making this video, the Rampart 17 Assault Rifle actually got a buff, and honestly after update 1.13, this weapon is absolutely insane. Now that's the thing, I would go ahead and do a weapon guide video on this weapon, however I just made one a couple days ago, so if you guys want to go ahead and see the class up that I am going to be using, you can go ahead and check out that video. There will be a card on your screen right now and of course just as a simple rundown we are going to be using the rampart 17 with fast mags long barrel as well as grip and high caliber stim shot as our gear and then scavenger as well as ghost and we are going to be using diamond camo however i might switch that out for dark matter camo a little bit later in this video so yeah guys now that i got the intro out of the way i will see you when i join up into our first game all right guys so as you can see we are going to be joining up into our first game and this time we are just going to be playing a standard game of team deathmatch here on contraband of course guys as you can see we are going to be using the brand new outrider specialist and that's the thing guys if you actually did not know yesterday with update 1.13 several weapons were actually changed around in the game being that the spitfire as well as the sog as well as the maddox actually got nerfs and the rampart 17 as well as the auger actually got buffs which is really interesting in my opinion and honestly after the new update the rampart 17 is an absolute monster in this game and that's the thing it was a monster before update 1.13 so if you haven't already tried the rampart after the new update make sure you go ahead and do so all right we actually have our hawk wait a second ruin wasted all right there we go All right, we're actually doing pretty well, but I'm just gonna get right out of there before I die. And yeah, guys, if you would like to, feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on the brand new Black Ops 4 update. Honestly, I'm a big fan of the update. I think they improved a lot of things in the game, and they also added in a lot of new content into the game. They added in a brand new specialist as well as new DLC weapons and two brand new maps if you do have the Black Ops pass, which is really good. I mentioned this time and time again before, and that's the main problem with Black Ops 4 as of right now, and that's there's simply not enough content in the game. And Treyarch also said that they are going to be consistently updating the game with more content throughout the current operation. And interestingly enough, the current operation in Black Ops 4 is actually shorter than the last operation by almost 30 days, which is actually quite interesting in my opinion. I mentioned this in yesterday's video, and that is we know that Operation Shamrock and all is going to be coming back into Black Ops 4, so chances are... We are going to be getting a mini operation going on where we are going to be seeing some new DLC weapons, which is really good in my opinion. I mentioned this before and that is I hope to see some more throwback DLC weapons in the game because the three new DLC weapons that we got really? were brand new weapons that we never saw in any other Call of Duty game, which is good. However, I think it would be cool if we saw some more throwback DLC weapons similar to the Cap 45 as well as the SWAT that we saw with the past operation. Oh my goodness, we went off a little bit with that thing. Alright, now we are going to be using this hawk. Honestly, it's a lot of fun to use just flying around the map. And it's also really useful, so I'm just going to park this thing right here. That's the thing, people are accustomed to the hawk, so a lot of them don't look for it, as well as they don't destroy it. Which is pretty useful, however, later in this operation, I can see people starting to destroy the hawk more. Wait a second, there's actually an enemy hawk. And that's the thing, guys. From my experience, I must say that Outrider is a top-tier specialist in Black Ops 4. In Black Ops 3, Outrider was a good specialist. However, a lot of people had issues with the specialist, and that's just because it was a little bit tricky to handle, and it wasn't a top-tier specialist in that game. However, in this game, it easily is one of the best specialists. And so far, it seems that Treyarch is going to be introducing a brand new specialist into the game with every new update. And honestly, I think it would be really cool if they added in Reaper into the game. Reaper was my favorite specialist from Black Ops 3, and technically Reaper is in Black Ops 4, however he is a Blackout character. So hopefully with the next operation, Reaper does end up coming into multiplayer. Oh, there's another person? Oh my goodness, we could have got the quad feed, however I didn't see that last person. And again, let's go ahead and throw up this hawk. I'm gonna put this thing right here. Alright guys, so as you can see, we are going to be joining up into our second game, and this time we are going to be playing a game of Team Deathmatch on slums, and that's the thing. We joined in pretty late into this game, so I'm not expecting much to happen. 
And guys, something that's pretty interesting, and that's five minutes ago. At the time of me making this video, there was actually a little update to Black Ops 4 that reduced the recoil on the Maddox RFB Assault Rifle. That actually got a pretty hefty nerf with update 1.13, which is really good in my opinion, because honestly, the Maddox is one of my favorite weapons in the game. It's a very consistent, as was very good assault rifle in the game. I don't really understand why they decided to nerf it. Honestly, I think the Maddox was in a pretty good spot before the nerf. So yeah, guys, that's where I'm going to be ending off this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like on it down below as well, as make sure to subscribe with post notifications turned on, so that way you guys will not miss a new upload from me. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one.